My name is Ivan Brim. I'm the head chef of the kitchen at Vacanalia. Uh, we're located at 39 Hong Kong Street. The kitchen at Bacchanalia is a very immersive and uh, uh, small little jewel of a restaurant where the lines between kitchen and the front of the house are completely blurred. It kind of feels like a living room and that's really the goal of the space uh, to really just bring people together and uh, have them interact with chefs and guests and uh, servers. We are a modern European restaurant. It's really fine dining without the fuss of fine dining. Uh, we take a lot of care in sourcing produce uh, that is grown locally. About 60% of all that we serve comes from local farms. I think you find dishes that seem unusual at first. When you actually taste them, all of these flavors remind you of something. And that's really the goal for me. I think food in this place is really about uh, having guests connect with the memory they didn't even know existed. So we have dishes that are inspired in a gado gado, we have dishes that are inspired in a French onion soup. We are currently working on a dish that is based on a, a Chinese woodier salad, right? The, the mushroom salad. And, uh, but we've spun all of the ingredients so that there is a Western tang to it. So instead of using uh, rice wine vinegar, we're using white balsamic uh, and the mushrooms change. Some are Chinese, some are not. Since uh, we got the call yesterday, the first impression I had was that the whole world stood still for a bit. And as a chef, I think, as I'm pretty pragmatic about this whole thing, I couldn't stay reasonable when I got the call. It was very exciting. We were lucky to be included. There are many exceptionally good restaurants in Singapore that didn't have that same um, thing happen. And I must say that after the words came, uh, phones, yeah, were ringing non-stop. In two hours, we already double our number of bookings for the week. Hopefully, it will have a, a very good and lasting effect. I worked for a chef once that said, uh, stars are in the sky. You know, you don't really focus there. You accept them when they come. Michelin brings a bit of objectivity, I think, to the dining scene here, uh, which is needed, you know. I think a lot of the times Russians are trying to just look good, but the guide really rewards what's on the plate more than anything. The Russians here are exceptionally good, but without that kind of validation, people don't really know that. I think it puts, it puts uh, Singapore on the map in that sense.